Go to the rectangle tool in Photoshop. Set the color to black and have a white background and go for pixels in the top left. So now you've got black and white, half and half. Go to the libraries panel, down to the bottom, a little plus and extract from image and it will use this black and white. Go to the patterns, force option, force pattern, and then you can reposition it. But the key thing here is rotation. Set it to minus 60. Just move it slightly, there it is, minus 60, and then change the scale. And as you do that, as you increase it or decrease it, you will see the cube design. Once you're happy with that design, you can make it thinner or thicker, depending on the design there, and click Save to CC Library, and close. Of course, you could do it multiple times, save multiple designs. Go to that design in the library panel, right click and create pattern preset. And it will be saved to the patterns panel. And it's a pattern now. And what you can do, go to the move tool and hover over it. As you hover over it, it will tell you the size. 2,660 by 1,536. That's for me, it might be different for you. File and new and use those settings. You can see the width and height there, set exactly the same. Now, apply that pattern preset to this document so it's exactly matching the document. With that, you can now flatten this image. It's a pity there's no feature to actually do this automatically, but this is the steps you go through. Layer and flatten image. Use the magic wand in the tools panel and click on that white area, that first white area there. And go to edit and fill and fill it with a color, any color. Go to contents and color. <clears throat> Set it to blue or green and click OK and click OK there. And now you've got blue in that area. Again, use the magic wand, select that area down the bottom and again, Color, click OK. And now you've got the blue and the blue in that position. Select the one at the bottom. And this time fill it with a different color. So select color again and set it to red or green. Click OK. And now go to the top right and do the same. Click there. Edit and fill and set with that color. Click OK. And deselect. So select and deselect. Go to edit and define pattern. And you see pattern three, call it what you want. Click OK. Now just drag that pattern over. And you can use this document or any other document, doesn't matter. And you can see now you've got a pattern fill. It's a pattern layer. Double click that and then go to the pattern fill. And you can change it but set the scale to 25 and you can see now you've got the red and blue and the white cube. Of course, it could be any color. Also, you can use adjustment layers to recolor it if you wish. Set it to 2%, 10% and click OK. And then flatten it. 